Hi, I'm Ryan Moody, helping you to fish smarter, not harder. Today I have a special treat for you. Deep dropping for spectacular flame tail snapper in 400 metres of water. We headed out with Dick Mayfield from Quality Marine Electronics in the exceptionally well decked out 6 metre evolution, Dick Tracy. It's beautiful. Good morning. Here we are. This is the beautiful Dick Tracy that we're going out in today. Okay. And the name's brilliant because this is Richard, our skipper, and his wife's name's Tracy. <laughs> and she's decked out to the nines with the most up to date electronics you've ever seen in a six meter boat. It's, it's the weather gods have shined on us. Oh, we've turned it on. I know Ryan's a barometer fan, so we've actually got a rising barometer. Heading out wide of Brisbane, the aim for the day was a flame tail snapper. I'm told they're a rare find with a maximum size of 120 centimetres. And because I love catching big fish, that's what I'm aiming for. Dick Tracy handled the swell admirably, and we were accompanied by Peter Floor from Flawless Rods, who built the rods. Dick has taken up the deep dropping challenge and decked out Dick Tracy with the top of the range electronics including a 3 kilowatt AMR transducer coupled with two Garmin 8412 units and including our very own weather station to keep an eye on the weather and the barometer. So that's our ledge? That's the ledge we're looking for. That's about 25 metres. Took a couple of nice fish off it last time we were here. Touch wood, we might stand the opportunity to get a couple again today. Just picking a preset, uh, we're in 350, we've got a, um, so at the moment we've got a few presets set up in there, so we've got a 50 metre window, just trying to narrow it in a little bit to where we want, so we just need to change the range back down. So the idea is to have a good look at the bottom, you're zooming yep. in? Yeah. Now it's time to prep our tackle and cut up some bait before we identify our first school of fish and do our first drop. What I've done on this thing, we've le actually left the bulldog clips on because we've been going out in a few customers' boats and helping them set up. Mm -hmm. So what I've done is just put a couple of insulated posts up under the gunnel. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So they're insulated to the boat and we can go out on a customer's boat and just take this outfit out. Just setting the zero stop. So we'll set the zero stop now. That's good. Yep. Stops, yeah. So that's where, so we got to let five metres of line out yep. before the electrical actually engage. Okay. There we go. You can just thumb that to the Do bottom that. and I'll keep an eye on that line. No worries, mate. So you've had plenty of experience thumbing, darling? Yes. Uh, just to thumb the 130s up at uh, Lizard Island and Cairns. So we've missed the spot on our first uh, drop because we didn't know which way we were really going to drift. Yep. Now so we do. Yeah, so we're about 50 metres too far east of the, of the sot and we've got the, we set up for a north-south drift and it's actually got a little bit of easterly in it. Yep. So we'll move back over and we'll set up and we'll come through so we can actually drift up over the ledge that we've got marked up. Wow. And touch wood, we can get the big fella onto his first deep oogling. <laughs> Gee, it uh, beats winding it up, honey bunny. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> so you can see here, um, we've actually, we're in 350 metres of water. Yep. And this is, that's actually a picture of our sinker. Is just dropped directly under the boat in 350 metres. That's the sort of coverage and contact that you need to be able to see to identify fish and yep. get right on them. Wow. That's that, unbelievable. That was that sinker we had before the big... Yeah, that was a two and a half kilo barra sinker. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much we, we uh, drifted first and we were a little bit... Uh, our drift was a little bit off the mark because, of course, first first drift, you don't know which way you're going to go 100%. We moved across to compensate, the sounder lit up, 
And we drop down and bang. As soon as it hit the bottom, we were on. And now here's Ryan getting his arms sore. He's such a winger. Oh, he's got back. a sore thumb. <laughs> as the machine does all the work. And you'd want it to in this step because we're in uh, 400 odd metres. Yeah, Only you don't have to whinge about your arms getting sore. <laughs> Softy, what's happening? <laughs> Honey bunny, the softy. Well, don't pick on the decky. Come on. <laughs> Come on, it's his first day of the job. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, to do this, you know, winding a reel on whether you're a 50 or stand up 80 or something like that, it's it's just an it'd be a nightmare. You'd be stuffed after two drops, wouldn't you? Yeah. Still good fun though. It's awesome. And the, and the species that are out here is what opens your eyes up, especially well, you, when you're getting into it. It could be a flamey, it could be an eight, eight bar, it could be a bar cod, it God. could be anything. Anything. It's like Christmas morning, you yeah. just don't know what's coming <laughs> up. Look at a box of Smarties, you don't know when you're going to get the red one. <laughs> Touch wood, you haven't popped your green eye cherry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got a little bit of lump on it, that's not a green eye. No. <laughs> He's still nodding a bit. Yeah. 240 to go. So sometimes when you've got a lot of current, yeah. you'll get out here and they might pop up. Pop up out the there side. somewhere, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's actually, have you ever had one come off the hook and then it pop up? Yeah. Oh, from the Baratroma? Baratroma, yeah. 16 metres, Pete. So last week when we were doing this with the little cheap outfit, we would have smoke coming out of it by now. Really? <laughs> there he is. Flamey. Flamey. Oh. Flamey. Beautiful. This is what we're after. Oh, oh that's God. a huge flamey. Be careful, mate. Oh. Oh. Whoa, you ripper. Holy I'll give you that. Oh. Yeah, buddy, I got him. Oh, my God, honey, buddy. Look at the beautiful tail. That is a weapon. That is a weapon. Wow, that's stunning. That is a weapon. This is such an unusual fish, isn't it? Look at the tail. Beautiful. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. Well done, Skipper. Sorry, well, it, took, sorry it took two drops. Oh, two drops. <laughs> <laughs> well done, boys. We're going down, down, down. Yep. I reckon you'll be on when you hit the bottom looking at this, Ryan. Yeah, mate, yeah, yeah it looks good, eh? Hey? Cool. It's just lit up. It's like a Christmas tree. Tree, yeah, right. Typical estuary fish. fisherman. Fisherman. <laughs> oh, with the circle, I'd let him. I let him go for a bit first. Yeah. But then you start a wine, and instead of pressing the button, button yeah, <laughs> just wanted to come tight. Yeah. He just started cranking like the organ grinder. <laughs> He's like, hang on, push the button. Yeah, push the button. And we're still on over there. Oh, look at him. He's got a big thing. Pete's got a, a much bigger rod and a bigger reel than us, and oh. he's got people in. Uh, it's after. Uh, you might have a couple on there. Yeah. 320. Yeah, you're just about on, mate. You're going to smack him here. You'll hit the bottom and go bang. Yep. He's a goer. Oh. you got flamies. you got... <laughs> mate, we might as well just go... <laughs> what a... We go to the pub. <laughs> and in the distance, and the electric motor doing all the hard work. That's yeah. it. Ryan's doing a pretty good job holding the gap. Oh, I'm, I'm exhausted, mate. Honestly. Did you work in the council? <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring you a shovel next trip. <laughs> no, but it was a barren guy for 30 years. That's pretty close. <laughs> Trying to come up. We had some line up, the big fella's a bit slow. Oh, we've got a faster winch? Uh, yeah, he's got a big 15, but he said it's a big fish. Big he said fish. it's not a flamey. Yeah, right. Yep. Another, Another flamey. Oh, yeah. Good. 
<laughs> Did you hear that? No. He, he wants to trade two flamies for 50 kilo bats. <laughs> Alright, I'll grab these. Thanks, bud. Oh. Don't know circles. Oh, the circles go well. Leader Systems Australia, mate of ours, let it on. I'll get you line. Thanks, buddy. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Number two. Number two. Oh, yeah, look at the bubbles coming up. Yeah. That'll be a cod. Yeah, it's a cod. Oh. Look, two of them. Oh. Bass groper. But they taste really nice, even at that size. It's unlike the cod we catch up north. Oh. See? Yep. Whoa. Nice fish. Can you just lower it back in the water so we can get it coming back? <laughs> Go the flawless deep penetrator. That's an eight bar. Yeah. That wasn't long after you. Yeah. yeah, exactly, mate. You need to eat your weedies when you're using sinkers like this. <laughs> yeah. We've set up again. That's where we have got his big flamey. Yep. So we've set up the drift. You can actually see the two lines on the, the boat that with the heading sensor with the Garmin. So we've got course over ground and heading. So you can actually see the course over ground line is the blue line. That's actually the direction the boat's drifting. Yep. So very, very great tool to work out which way that you're actually drifting, which way you want to the lines out of the boat. And you can even put a tiny little one in for your, your bass boats in the creek. Have you got a heading sensor in there? Sorry mate, I'm too busy catching fish. <laughs> For those saying that an electric winch is cheating or boring, I was quite surprised at what fun it was. The anticipation of what is on the end of the line and the long wait getting the fish to the surface adds to the excitement. There's actually a lot of skill involved getting your bait smack bang onto the fish in 400 metres. And I can't wait to get back out there to work out exactly how the flamey stack compared to other fish like cods and sharks to get a little bit more selective about what fish we fish on. Of course, the fish do suffer badly from barotrauma, so each boat only took two fish. And you really do need to fish responsibly in this depth of water. Yeah. <laughs> we got a shark. No. <laughs> just, the, just the one, mate. I don't know why they're It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, wow. Hey, Paula. Well, there you have it. Two trophy flame tail snapper for me, deep dropping off Brisbane with one stonker at 129 centimetres. If you'd like to know exactly how it's done, I'll be adding a detailed video to our Sounder Skills 2 course covering the setup, boat positioning and gear used. Stunning fish. For more free tips and fishing action, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel and for special tips I share by email only, sign up to our free fishing community over at ryanmoodyfishing.com. Get into the great outdoors, keep fishing smarter and I'll see you next time.